Greetings and salutations, I'm Kim. Welcome back to this let's play of Pandora First Contact. So, let's see now, we have at least gotten rid of or secured our own, co our own continent. Don't know if there are any inbound enemies, but I kind of doubt it. I mean, at this point, we're kind of. kind of on our own. Let's see if we can clear these wastelands. Um, other than that, I'm going to keep using my farmers to build energy parks, I think. We don't really need... Well, actually, we do need minerals again. Darn it. Down here at sea. Why not just go for the energy parks? And of course... We get an extra bonus for the oil fields, so that's kind of worthwhile. Sort of screw again. Right, now we're gonna have a mineral deficiency. Ugh, it's a small one. Let's stay a scientist then. And you can also stay a scientist. I don't think I have an extra mine here. Same there. Hmm. We're kind of out of uh, hills to turn into mountains too now. Well, except in the captured areas. Well, we can always fiddle a bit there, I suppose. My greed is, your greed is good. <laughs> yeah, sure it is. Um, hold position there. Hold position. Everything here has been fixed. Um, I want you to go north as well. Because there are probably a ton of habitats that we need to destroy here. Oh boy, do they have suburbs. Yeah, um... Let's go there. Start fixing that. We could raise this up into a mountain, but nah. We fixed all of these. are done. Excellent. And you grew. Yeah, just... Yeah, stay in scientist, that's fine. Stay up scientist, yes. Much the same here. I mean, we're not really gaining terrain anymore, so... Did you have a sub? Yes, you do. So fortify up and build money. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about the tax rate. Do I want to crank it up? That kind of depends. So we will sort by morale. There we go. The highest morale should be at the top. Yeah, there we go. Plus nine. Yeah, these cities are going to be unhappy regardless because of conquest and that sort of kind of stuff. I mean, these, yeah, they're going to be unhappy regardless. Let them 
become oblivion, um, move into oblivion. Um, but well, this. Let's see. Yeah, it does affect our other numbers too. Um, we got eighty percent. That's a bit steep. Seventy-five percent tax. That sounds lovely. All our cities are still going to have morale, by the looks of things. Positive morale. Not as much, obviously, so the production numbers are going to go down. Right? 710 signs instead of... What, 50 or something was before. So we're going to lose 46 science. And we're going to lose food. Uh, we are going to lose production too, but we don't want to really notice it because of the mineral situation. So <laughs> that's why the mineral numbers isn't varying as drastically, because you're also reducing the number of minerals at the same time as you reduce the number of uh, production. At any rate, yeah, I think we're going to go with that. It's going to speed up our path to wealth victory, and that's what we're going for now. And with this kind of money generation, it shouldn't take all that long. I think. Kind of depends. I mean, our cities are still bleeding. They conquered cities. Um, sure, let's have peace. Peace in our time. Race the terrain. More growth. Uh, at this point, just stay where you are. Much the same here. I think you've already taken all the mines at land, so... It's just the ones at sea left. Then again. Why not? Two minerals. Oh, that's gonna rebalance everything. Good. Yeah, law is kind of a difficult thing about going into production. Law had so little production, so you can go into farming, and that's zero balance. Excellent. And there we go, and we're now from 56%. And with peace, they won't nuke us, so that's good. And these cities are still bleeding population like crazy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Sure, let's be friends again. No attack, plus growth. Woohoo! You're here to clear wasteland. Go north. We have more wastelands to clear and stuffs. It's a long trek, but everything down here has been fixed. Yeah. Gonna send you north too. All the way there. Um, there isn't really much I can do to balance research, uh, balance those anymore. Did law grow again? Fine then. Yeah, that's fine. Keep it as is. Slight resource drains are fine at this point. 
Now things are starting to get better. You stopped migrating because of conquest. No, you haven't. Still some takeover migration going on. Yeah, dang it. Thought it finally dropped off, but it, it looks like it's going to happen for another 13 turns there. Another 14 turns here. Yeah, so for 20 turns the cities will bleed into nothing. Which, of course, should mean that... Oh, she lost that city. <laughs> oh! Wait a second, she lost that one too. Yeah, Lady Vermillion lost her two cities. So I guess she's now in the same position as the Imperium, and they basically have units left on the map, but... And that's going to keep them alive. Arg. And that was kind of bad for me, because if I could have hunted down her last few remaining units, I could have killed her and maybe... Maybe stop this bleed, I don't know. Ah well. Done is done. And I think we're gonna win regardless. Um, yeah, that's the upkeep thing. Let's see. All the things we're ignoring down there. see what eco farming does and of course we can always get that new suit I don't think there is an economy tech anywhere near gold mage sounds nice let's make sure and then let's try to do that I don't think we're gonna actually finish that in time if this number is increasing as fast as it looks like could be wrong But yeah, economic victory pro progress, 64%. Uh, that's fine, you don't want to have open borders. That's quite okay with me. Get up here, I don't think we're gonna need that purifier, so... And of course she signed peace, which means she'll live even though... Her pops have nowhere to go. I assume. I don't know. I mean, she has no cities. So where the heck are these people going? Unless my assumption is wrong. I don't know where takeover migration people go. If their faction is no longer in possession of a city. Which definitely seems to be the case. They've taken Sagan, okay. Ouch! They they did they build a city in the middle of infestation? Yeah they did. Ouch. And their whole continent's being infested. They're not doing anything to fight it, by the looks of things. Or definitely not doing enough, I should say. That's definitely hurting her more than Gardner. Though Gardner does have some of that stuff going on too. Don't know. But yeah, let's see now. Uh, so, you're at peace with everybody. So you're never gonna die. You're at peace with everybody, so you're never gonna die. And you guys are also at peace at the moment. But these two are the only ones that technically are left at this point. Still, I... If all I have to do here is to get up to 75%, I think we're gonna be winning that rather handily. Do 
aggression product. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna shuffle around with those. Dog Lord. You know what? I'm starting to think that we do get migration from the uh, conquered cities at this point. Because now, as soon as her last city is vanished, the growth rate of law here skyrocketed. I mean, it wasn't that high at all before. And now it's growing one or ten, more or less. So now I think that these people from the conquered cities are migrating, but they're migrating within our empire. I think. That's certainly what it feels like, I don't know. Okay, it's actually now having positive growth. Despite having minus 40 something from takeover migration. Okay. Um. So something strange is going on there. Uh, we're not really gonna shuffle too much around here, I think. And a few more workers, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, well, they're going full nuke again. Building up their arsenals. Oh, wasn't there a mine here? Alright, oh, it was nuked earlier, that's why we were doing it there, we were cleaning up. The, the, uh, cleaning up the mess. Hope and company grew, that's fine, actually we went to work, that's fine. Yeah, we could do that one too, but uh, at this point, all wealth, I think. Fairly certain, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. We could just be winning next, next turn. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. Your personality is as thin as a Weimar banknote. As much as I despise violence, it is simply unacceptable. Oh yeah, bring it on. And there we go. Breaking news. Noxium Corporation emerges as economic superpower. Uh, let's see. Reports are coming in that Director Preston has more money than God. Word on the street is that soon Director Preston will be able to buy every last unit on the planet. If the others want to stand a chance at dominating Pandora, uh, either need to start saving up or go full out military on Director Preston's ass. Not that little old me should be <laughs> advising you on tactics. Okay. As for the weather, showers of gold and precious jewels are predicted over the areas owned by Director Preston. If you want to avoid being cut to ribbons, remember to take your <laughs> molybdenum uh, broilies uh, with you at all times. Okay, did we win or did we just enter another? Oh, I read that wrong, of course. Uh, progress is 80%, but that's... yeah, we haven't actually reached it yet, though. <laughs> So that's why we suddenly find ourselves at war. They decided, hey, you know what, you're actually trying to win. I need to kill you now. So that's what's going on here. And that's kind of bad. But I, honestly, I think she set me up for victory. Because she took out the last two cities of Lady Familion. And that seems to have stemmed the uh, bleeding growth, which means our pops, are, our cities are not gonna die as quickly. In fact, quite a lot of our cities are growing rather quickly. Which I rather like. Well, at this point we need to start fixing our 
pops over to uh, mine those last few resources as well. No matter. Um, economic victory, 80% progress. I think four turns or so should be enough if we don't lose things. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit nervous. I don't know if nukes have a range, do they? Um, we might need vision. Can I nuke you if I have vision? I can. Okay. So now I know that. Still, I am not going to be terribly afraid just yet. It's going to take her a while to move units in my direction, so... And if she does nuke me, I'm definitely gonna nuke her ass. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Lady of a Million. I don't know where the heck you're hiding. Because I don't think you exist anymore. Um, tear this one down in favor of an energy park, would ya? Oh, they decided to declare war on each other again. Good, lovely. That's gonna distract her. Uh, you're gonna become a worker. It's only one mineral, but it does get all the modifiers. Uh, that's kind of what I'm after now. Uh, Jaipur is actually no longer shrinking. They finally got over themselves. They accept that they live in our empire now. The takeover migration is still incredible, but it, at least it appears that they're migrating within our own territory. Which is kind of strange, but... Who am I to complain? Oh, that's not where I want you to work. There we go. Work in the mines. It's only one mineral, but it does get the multi multiplier, so... Every little bit helps at this point. We don't need the science. Just need the monies. Keep waiting for nuke messages, but I assume that she'd rather nuke the closet. No, oh, there we go. Oh boy. Okay, so she will nuke me. I was kind of hoping she wouldn't, but so be it. Um, let's see now. This will need Giovanni. Okay, so you definitely nuked here. The Giovanni does have the base defenses. Giovanni, Giovanni. Did you nuke anything else? Giovanni was damaged by a nuclear missile. Amphibious form was killed by... Okay. So you nuked a former down here. Okay. It does seem to be a slight pollution thing going on. Yeah, minus two pollution, so why are we generating wasteland? Did you nuke something down here without me knowing? I don't know. Okay, then. Little miss. If that's how we're gonna play... That's how we're gonna play. Let's see, now you have a large capital. Um, da, 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 da. 
objective. That's how we're gonna play. That's how we're gonna play. So, kaboom. Da, 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 da. And I'm not above doing a bit of scorched earth around here. I mean, I'm not damaging her directly, but let's destroy all her terrain. All her suburbs. Oh, you mean people live there? Too bad for them. And let's keep nuking Darwin. damaged him enough to actually destroy him? Probably not. But yeah, if you nuke me, I'm gonna nuke you back. Wait a second, is that her units? Are you seriously sending... Oh my. Um. No, I don't want you to suddenly plant a city right next to me. That's not tolerable. That is simply not acceptable. You're trying to plant a city right there, aren't you? Almost certain. Are you sending something else my way? Wish I'd known that one turn ahead earlier. Would have been nice to basically try to get the uh, achievement for sinking them. Regardless. So we are losing a bit of terrain. Did you nuke the... Observatory? You did, didn't you? Yeah. Um, will that destroy the observatory? Will a nuke destroy special features? Yeah, I think it does. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. That is unfortunate. Get the planetary fortress because we kind of need it at this point. I guess we will be suffering a fair bit of nuclear strikes in the coming turns, but that's okay. I do think we'll be able to win this without any major issues anyway. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.